Years ago, people were talking about how data scientists were the sexiest job of the 21st century, but suddenly a new contender has emerged, and that's the machine learning engineer. So what exactly is the difference between these two, and is machine learning engineer just the new hyped up thing? Keep watching and we'll discuss. I'm Richard and this is Richard on Data. So a while ago, I did a video on the difference between a data scientist and a business analyst because I really do think it's important for anybody who's working with data in the year 2020 just to understand all the different roles that are out there as well as to be in one that's a good fit for themselves. And certainly a newer role that requires at least some examination and consideration is the machine learning engineer or as I'm gonna call them for the rest of this video, ML engineer, because I'm just gonna get tired of saying machine learning over and over again. And like any new role, of course, comes all the pieces about how they're losing their jobs, as well as how they're not going to exist in 10 years. But the first thing I need to mention, of course, is all the hype and pervasiveness surrounding machine learning in general. There's tons of educational content out there that puts a huge amount of emphasis on machine learning, and I really do think that gets a lot of people into data science, because, let's face it, machine learning is really cool stuff. But as I've talked about in a number of my other videos, I think for a lot of people this causes a pretty serious mismatch of expectations. Because for the overwhelming majority of data scientists out there, you are not going to spend all of your time doing machine learning. It is going to come into play, sure, but it's not going to be your entire life. For ML engineers, on the other hand, that could be a different story. So if you haven't yet seen my video on the difference between a business analyst and a data scientist, I do recommend watching that one first, and I'll have a link to that in the description as well as a card up above. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the exact same kind of things. We're gonna look at how do you actually define a data scientist versus an ML engineer? What are the educational requirements for each of them? What does the money look like for these two roles? What does the future have in store for these two roles? And then exactly Exactly how do you decide which one of these two that you want to get into? Now before we get into all that fun stuff, just a few asks. Number one, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also take one second and smash the like button because that really does help my content get suggested more and reach a larger audience. Also, I will have a link to my Patreon account in the description of this video, so if you're willing to support me that way, that would be massively, massively appreciated. Starting with definitions. So I've gone through the definition of a data scientist in my videos so many times that people who've been following me for a while probably think that I sound like a broken record, but here it is again in my view. A data scientist is a professional who excels at four different things, and those are statistics, programming, domain expertise, and communication. And sure, everybody out there is going to have some different strengths and weaknesses, but those are the four pillars of the field. So it is a super technical position, but it is one that also involves storytelling, the fundamentals of business, and an overall very human component. Now the description of a data scientist is going to vary around pretty substantially depending on who's creating a job listing, and quite frankly, so is an ML engineer. But I think the most thorough definition of an ML engineer is one I found from a Medium article written by Tomas Dudek, who's another ML engineer. He described a person called a machine learning engineer as somebody who asserts that all production tasks are working properly in terms of actual execution and scheduling, abuses machine learning libraries to their extremes, often adding new functionalities, ensures that data science code is maintainable, scalable, and debuggable, automates and abstracts away different repeatable routines that are present in most machine learning tasks, brings the best software development practices to the data science team, and helps them speed up their work, chooses best operational architecture together with the DevOps team, and looks constantly for performance improvement and decides which ML technologies will be used in production environment. 
Then here's another description, which I think is probably gonna be pretty representative of this role in general. We've got somebody who works with data scientists and business analysts to frame problems in a business context, builds data pipelines that pull data from various sources, builds and maintains learning models and machine learning infrastructure, selects appropriate data sets and data representation methods, designs experiments and analysis methodologies that are statistically rigorous, runs machine learning tests and experiments, performs statistical analysis and fine-tuning using test results, builds a user interface to interact with ML models through simulations, visualizes model metrics and collects domain expert feedback, and participates in code reviews to ensure code quality and share best practices and experiences with their team. So typically what you're probably going to see is a data scientist will help get the project off the ground, define what the right problem is, and help figure out what ML model, if any, is appropriate to build in the first place. Then later the ML engineer will use their tool of choice, which could be Python or it could be things like C or C Sharp, to engineer ML models into production in such a way that they're scalable and stable. And then I think it's fair to think of data scientists as typically more technical in their roles than business analysts. But then ML engineers are yet another step above that and even more technical than most data scientists. All right, so now that we've gone through the definitions, let's talk about education. So I do detail the educational requirements out there for data scientists in my video on business analyst versus data scientist, but I'm gonna quickly rehash some of those things here. Starting with the fact that data scientists typically have quite a lot of education. So in 2019, Birch Works did a study and they found that a full 47% of data scientists that they surveyed had a master's degree and yet another 47% had a PhD. Now I have seen some other research suggesting that the percentage of data scientists that hold advanced degrees is closer to about 70%, but regardless, there's no question that data scientists are an incredibly educated bunch. And most of their degrees are gonna come in statistics or computer science, but these days more and more universities are offering programs with specific data science degrees. So that's pretty cool. I couldn't find any similar surveys breaking this down for ML engineers, but I think it's pretty fair to assume that a very similar number of them are going to need advanced degrees. Then their education is going to span probably across computer science as well as mathematics. And of course, ML engineers are going to need to know programming languages. So this is from Springboard, and they cite a report from IBM. So this basically says that machine learning engineers should know the following programming languages, ranked from most important to least important, Python, Java, R, C++, C, JavaScript, Scala, then Julia. Then obviously, to be a machine learning engineer, you're going to want to be acquainted with machine learning algorithms. So this one is from Discover Data Science. Now notably here, I think they're omitting neural networks and modern deep learning techniques, but for the most part, this list looks pretty decent to me and covers a lot. And certainly if you know these things, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. They've got some of the most widely used algorithms as decision trees, naive Bayes classification, ordinary least squares regression, logistic regression, support vector machines, ensemble methods, clustering algorithms, PCA, singular value decomposition, and independent component analysis. Next item to cover here is the reason 80% of you probably clicked on this video, and I'm talking of course about money. Now if you ask how much money each of these two roles make, the two second answer to that is lots and lots of it. And you already know this if you've seen my business analyst and data scientist comparison video, but Glassdoor lists the average data scientist salary at $113,309 at this time. The most up-to-date information I could find from Indeed, which is from February 2020, had the average data scientist salary at $122,338. Granted, this is all just for the United States, but their report from then was pretty good, and I'll have a link to it in the description. They also do a pretty nice breakdown by state, too. Unsurprising to anybody, you're probably going to make quite a bit more money working as a data scientist in California than you are in Arkansas. 
Now, as far as the ML engineer job is concerned and how much money you're gonna make from that, I have good news on that front too. Indeed reported in 2019 that the average base salary for an ML engineer was $146,085. Not only that, but they ranked it as the number one job in terms of growth between 2015 and 2018, with a whopping 344% growth in number of job postings over that time period. Glassdoor currently has this number quite a bit lower than Indeed does, but it's still clocking in at $114,121 per year on average. And my guess is this one is on the lower side since it's based on only 387 salaries, and it's probably disproportionately coming from regions with lower average salaries. Either way though, I think it's a fair assumption that ML engineers are probably making a little bit more than data scientists do generally, but they're both doing fantastic, and if you're working in either of these two roles, you really shouldn't be hurting for an income at all. So now the question is, what does the future hold for these roles? And in my video about whether or not data science will die in five years, I detail exactly what I think and why, but I'll reiterate the main points here. Basically, I think data scientists are going to get a little bit more clarity around their roles. And there's going to be some more industry-wide consensus on what a data scientist does and actually is. And with that increased definition is going to come the realization for some organizations they need more machine learning engineers. But then a question a lot of data scientists will have to ask themselves is how technical they want to be several years down the road in their career. And I think the data scientists who are the most technically inclined will shift over towards becoming ML engineers just so they can chase a little bit extra money and their love of neural networks. But then I think data scientists who don't necessarily want to be super technical their entire life will gradually transition into becoming experts in their specific domain. Now to be fair, at the beginning of this video I showed you some medium headlines which were suggesting that ML engineers are losing their jobs and that the job in general is just going to go away over the next 10 years. Those are interesting perspectives that are worth reading, and I'll have a link to them in the description. But if I were to summarize their points pretty quickly, we are in an economic slowdown right now. And in a lot of places, ML and research jobs are going to be the first thing on the chopping block. And there's a theory going around that ML is going to become just a commonplace requirement for software developers in the future, particularly as a little bit more of it becomes automated and it becomes more accessible. And I really do disagree with this sentiment because as ML and AI become more accessible, it opens up more of people's time, which means the problems we all work on are probably going to get more complex and challenging. And most of the software developers I know are wonderfully smart people, but they have to do so much and know so much without worrying about learning convolutional neural networks on top of all of that. And that brings us to the final question about which one is right for you. And the only correct answer is the classic lawyer's answer. That is, it depends. For this one, I'm going to offer a personal perspective that I hope is resourceful for others. So I personally love the human side of data science. I love storytelling with visualizations, and I love using data to help drive strategy and decision making, all that stuff. I also really love the technical stuff, but in about six years that I have of being in data science, it's happened on a few occasions that I've gone super deep into machine learning and building cool models, sometimes even working on the exact same problem for several months. And it's happened every single time that after the initial fun and joy wore off, it did get really old after a while, and eventually I just couldn't wait to be working on something else. But that's me. Some people really do just want to have more of a code monkey type position, or they just love computer science and machine learning so much that deep diving into that type of stuff for years at a time really doesn't bother them. But for me, also as a person who comes from a statistics background rather than as a computer science background, I'll take work that I enjoy more and that I find fulfilling any day over the extra ten dollars to $20,000 a year that an ML engineer might offer.
Having said all of that, I have met tons of people with some truly genuine love for machine learning and for algorithms in general. And if that's you, you probably are going to be more in your element as an ML engineer than you would be as a data scientist. Overall though, this decade is already shaping up to be pretty crazy, so who knows what the future holds for these two roles. And you have to decide, based on your own individual interests and skills, whether a data scientist or ML engineer role is better for you. But my best guess is, regardless of whichever one that you pick, you're going to be in heavy demand in the future, and you're going to be loading your wallet up with a lot of pieces of paper that are green and have Benjamin Franklin's face on them. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you'd like to support my work, do please consider sharing this video. And again, please hit the like button. And then also leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these two you prefer and why. Then I'll see you all in the not so distant future. Until then, Richard on data.